Hello gentle readers, today I am reviewing Sue Grafton's T is for Trespass. I'm sure most of you already know who she is and if you don't, look her up. She has been writing a series of crime mystery books um, and she's going to go all the way to A to Z. You know, obviously we're on T now. I'm a little behind, I haven't been reading or lately, sadly, but I'm catching up now. Anyway, this is she. She's aging pretty well. You know, one of my worst fears is that she's going to die before she finishes finishes the series. I mean, I've grown up on this series. My mom had all the books, you know, up to a point, you know. Mm, Starbucks. When I was little, and I was, I was reading them in elementary school, I was reading them in middle school, and of course high school. Anyway, so when you first read the flap, it mentions that the narration shifts from Kinsey to Salona Rojas, a sociopath. Oh my gosh, how interesting, right? Okay, so anyone who's read those books knows that it's narrated by Kinsey. You know, she's thinking back on it and you know telling her story and it's kind of like a report almost because the way it ends you know she signed her name and well anyway so I was pretty excited to read it and plus I like the letter T though that's not you know, that's not so related it was reading it I was reading it so fast I when I get really excited book or I'm reading a really good book, I have to force myself to slow down, like to have to draw it out and just to make the experience, you know, last longer. It was fantastic. It was, there's so much suspense. It was the suspense that got you. It's not so much the action. Um, it was the suspense of waiting to see what's going to happen. Is she going to get caught? I'm, you know, trying not to do any spoilers, so I'm not going to go too much into that but I will say you know it's most one of the most exciting books in this series Grafton is showing once again that she is one of the most talented writers alive right now her descriptions come out crisp not overly flowery um, some writer some authors really seem to depend on metaphors and similes inserting them everywhere and so what you're reading ends up feeling like really bad poetry and I'm just but she knows when to stick in a metaphor or a simile in she's one of the best description writers you know um, another one of my favorite authors for descriptions is um, John Steinbeck so, uh, oh, I don't want to say too much about the book I don't want to spoil it the book does cover the subject of caregivers abusing and um, not only physically but also mentally their um, patients and you know older patients it, it's kind of because you hear about it on the news but the way Grafton writes it from this woman's point of view it's just it's it's pretty chilling this book there is some foreshadowing and it's very well done it's very subtle and I really can't describe it because it would ruin the end but you'll know it when you read it, it um, it's oh I can't even tell you because I'm trying to think of a way to say it without um, ruining the book but I can't sorry <laughs> do I recommend the book yes Definitely yes. You're gonna go through it in like a day or two days. You know, if you're a slow reader, maybe three or four, but I don't, it's just gonna wanna keep you up at night, you know, reading in your room with your little book lamp. Try not to wake up the person next to you as you frantically go from page to page. Awesome book. Looking forward to reading you.
is for Undertow. If you have any suggestions for books you want me to review, leave a comment or send me a message. And 